Hi everyone! In this short video, you'll learn how to turn paper assignments into digital files that you can submit to your teacher via Google Drive. In a nutshell, you'll scan handwritten notes, paper worksheets, and even annotated book pages and upload them to the appropriate Google Drive folders. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you two free apps. If you're on Android, you can do everything within the Google Drive app. If you're on an iPhone or iPad, you'll need both Google Drive and the standard Notes app. The first thing you need to know is whether your teacher wants image files or PDFs. For example, your teacher might want you to screenshot online work and submit the image file to verify completion. This video, though, explains how to create PDF files. Teachers usually ask for this file format if multiple pages are involved. You also need to know how the teacher wants you to submit the work, uploaded to a specific Google Drive folder, in a specific Google Doc, or emailed. This video explains how to upload to a specific Google Drive folder. Make sure your mobile device is updated for best results before you begin. You're going to install the Google Drive app from the Google Play Store if you have an Android phone, and from the App Store if you have an iPhone or iPad. Once you have the app installed, tap it to sign in. If you have more than one Google account on your phone, such as a school account and a personal account, select the school account. Android users can begin the process right here from the Google Drive app. Tap on the plus button, the Google Drive icon for adding new files and folders. Instead of the Use Camera Caption you see on this Apple device, Android users will see Scan. Once upon a time, the Apple app had this same functionality, so if you Google it, you'll find outdated sites that say it is possible on Apple devices. It's no longer a feature, though. While Android users can probably figure out the rest from here, you may want to watch the middle of this video, as the tips I'll be giving apply to the Google Drive scanner as well. If you skip the middle, be sure to watch the third segment that discusses how to upload your new PDF to the right Google Drive folder. The timestamp for this third section is in the description below. Okay, Apple users, here we go. We'll be using the Notes app that comes automatically installed on your iPhone or iPad. Once you launch Notes, you'll see the controls somewhere on your screen, depending on the device you're using. On my iPad, the layout looks like this. Tap the New Note icon to begin the scan process. Then tap the Camera icon. Use the Scan Documents option for PDF files. If your teacher wants an image file, you can use the Take Photo or Video option here, or you could use the regular camera app to accomplish the same thing. You'll probably want to turn off the Auto Caption mode. It quickly tries to recognize your page and then snaps the image automatically. While this may work for the first page, I found that it can take some random snaps while I'm trying to position the next page, resulting in a lot of image corrections later and deleting of pages. Many scanning apps have a colored overlay that identifies what is about to be captured. In Notes, it's yellow. Position your device so that the yellowed frame covers your page. There are a few strategies for improving the quality of your captures. Use a background that contrasts sharply with the document's page color. Most often, the pages will be white, so a dark background helps the app accurately identify the page. Lighting is key to images and video. Try to have a consistent light across your page with no glaring hot spots as you see here and no shadow from your mobile device or from your body. Consider designing a stand of some sort that holds your device for you. Once you find the right height and put your stand in the right place for the lighting considerations we just discussed, you can scan pages more quickly and do less image correction to each page. While there are commercial stands available, there's no point in purchasing one when you can innovate one from objects around your house. Position the camera so that you have a flat angle. Experiment with tipping the device a bit to see how the colored frame becomes distorted by slight angle shifts. You want the page to be in perspective as much as possible. Notice how this capture is askew, distorted and out of perspective at the bottom. Scanning pages of a book proves to be the most challenging in terms of capturing high quality images that don't distort the text. You've all seen photocopies of slightly curved text pages in handouts. Well, that's what you're trying to avoid. When you have the best image you can get, tap the shutter button to capture the page. In the Notes app, and in most scanning apps, you'll have the opportunity to retake the scan or to adjust page edges. Tap, hold, and drag from the corner to adjust the perspective. You can also do this in a later step in the process. Tap Scan when you're ready to move on. Position the next page and repeat the process. The number of pages in your soon-to-be PDF document shows up here and here in the Notes app on an iPad. Tapping Cancel in the Notes app will stop the scan of all the pages, not just the one you're on. So be careful not to tap it unless you want to discard everything you've already scanned for this document. Don't worry though, if you tap it by accident, a warning pop-up appears and you have to confirm the delete. But remember you're deleting the entire document, all the previous scans, not just that one page. Tap Save after you've scanned your last page. Again, your screen might not look exactly like this one depending on your device, but the icons are the same. 
From here, you can adjust cropping and color for individual pages. Tap on the first page if you notice anything off, or swipe to see the other pages in the document. The color control gives you a few options. Click on the different icons to create the best quality image you can achieve. When all the pages meet your satisfaction, tap the Share icon to begin the Upload to Google Drive process. Across the top, you should see the Google Drive icon and the email icon. You may need to swipe as they may appear further to the right. If your teacher wants an emailed PDF, tap the mail icon and fill out the email form. Be sure to include whatever specific subject line your teacher may require. These controls are for the Notes app. We'll ignore them for right now. Tap the Google Drive icon. If you have multiple Google accounts set up on your mobile device, tap your school account. Use the Select Folder button to navigate to the specific folder to which you want to upload your PDF. The Note app creates this text file. Just ignore it. Notice that the upload link is grayed out. It isn't available until you select a folder destination. Once you navigate to the specific folder, tap Save Here. This icon theoretically lets you create a new folder and then save the document into it. However, I found that I usually receive error messages when I try to create the folder here. Instead, create the folder on your computer or device ahead of the scan. Before you upload your document, change the file name. Follow the specific protocol your individual teacher requires. If you're creating a PDF from paper for your own uses, give the document a descriptive file name. Tap Upload to complete the share. This is the step students often overlook. It's always a good idea to verify that your new PDF uploads to Google Drive. You can check via the Google Drive app or open your Google Drive on your laptop. If you upload to a folder that is shared with your teacher, the file is automatically shared. However, if your teacher doesn't use shared folders, be sure to use the Google Drive sharing permissions to give your teacher access. And that's how you create a multi-page PDF from paper pages and upload it to Google Drive.